Hi, today we are going to focus on the ethics of living donor organ transplantation. Should we allow living donor transplants that put a heavy burden on family members? First, let's watch a manga clip in which Kanami and her boyfriend Yusuke discuss the issue. Yusuke is thinking about giving a part of his liver to save his father who has a liver disease. Do you remember my dad? Yeah, of course. He played with us a lot when we were in elementary school. I haven't seen him since we started middle school though. Right now, he's in the hospital. His liver got really bad apparently. They have to give him a transplant soon or he'll die. So I might have to give part of my liver to him. It's an organ transplant. An organ transplant? You're going to do something that dangerous? But what about your club? What about track and field? You said you were aiming to get a sports recommendation. If I do that transplant, I just give it up on it. I can always just take the normal entrance exam. So that's why he was studying like that. My mom said she donate hers and wouldn't listen. She says because I have my future ahead of me, she doesn't want me to get damaged. But after checking it out at the hospital, it turns out that her liver isn't doing so well either. So. I'm the only one in our family who can be a donor. Right now, though, he's still waiting for a possible donation from a brain dead person. So, nothing set in stone yet. Oh, that's right. Do you remember this card? Yeah, that's the one we saw at the convenience store. I did some research after my dad was hospitalized and found something out. Recently, the law was changed and now family members get precedence when it comes to organ transplants. So, if I keep this card and die of brain death... Why do you look like you are about to cry? I don't plan on dying. And apparently, people who kill themselves can become donors. Hey, can I stop and buy a freeze pop at the convenience store? Taking an organ from one person and moving it to another person is called organ transplantation. The person who donates his or her organ is called the donor, and the one who receives the transplant is called the recipient. Some of you may think that organ transplantation has nothing to do with you. However, there is a possibility that an important member of your family may become seriously ill and the physician may tell you that they would die without a transplant. If this happened to you, what would you do?